Hello, I'm Mr Bishop, the Head of Art and Photography at Bullerswood School. Uh, welcome to this PowerPoint which is going to introduce you to all the things you need to know before starting the course. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you lots of different examples of work, I'm going to talk a bit about the structure of the course um, and hopefully um, you'll feel very comfortable about starting in September and prepared and ready to go. Uh, what you're looking at here are two fantastic oil paintings um, by ex-students and um, Oil painting is something that we will try and encourage you, if you're into painting, uh, to take up. Uh, at A-level, there's more time. You're getting six hours a week, which is brilliant. Uh, in lessons, um, that is a great chance to learn how to use something like oil paint, um, which isn't as practical at GCSE, but um, you can see the, the outcomes in oil are, are brilliant. Okay, So that's, that's something that we, we will encourage. Um, we follow the Edexcel Art and Design specification. Uh, you can find all the information you need about that here on this link. Uh, you can click on that, it will give you the specification, the marking scheme. Um, but we'll go through that with you when we start the course. Okay, that's probably not the bit you're most excited about, but um, all that information is there. Okay, another example of oil painting. Um, we often use photography to build up imagery. So this is a student's own photograph. Um, they have lit that photograph, um, that set up, they have then taken the picture, they've printed it, they've painted from that. Um, people that use photography as their source obviously need to know about photography, so we do include a bit of photography uh, within our art course so that that is possible. We also do collage, so the one on the right, the picture you can see there is um, a collage. Uh, drawing is something that's very important on our course. Uh, we really encourage you to keep practicing drawing, develop different techniques, different styles, um, whether that's going for photorealism, if it's more expressive, we really want you to understand just how important it is to be able to communicate through your mark making, uh, your use of line, etc. So uh, we'll do lots of workshops on that to really develop your skills and understanding. Um, and it's a fundamental skill, I think, that underpins everything else, whether you're going on to do um, painting, sculpture, animation, more textiles work. Um, drawing is how you're going to communicate everything that you're doing in the first place. So uh, we, we spend a lot of time on that, but it's not something to panic about. If it is something that you think, oh, I don't know if I can do that, um, we're going to teach you. Okay, whatever level you're at, you're going to get even better. You can see here that we don't have a, a preference for the style or medium. It's up to you what sort of work you want to be making. We've got Photoshop work on the left here uh, from their own photographs, plus from old works of art. We've got a lovely surreal drawing on the right. Um, the piece on the right over here, What a Waste, um, is made out of receipts that have been stitched together um, and there's a tidal wave of those receipts going over landfill. So within that there's hundreds of little mini bin bags, which I think is really interesting. Um, nice comment on the state of our planet um, and the environment there. So, you know, social commentary, um, that's something that we can really encourage within our work as well. It doesn't just have to be about aesthetics. Um, a lot of students want to have a message in their work and that's something that we really encourage too. We do different workshops, so you can see um, on the left we've got something made out of an old trainer. Um, we encourage using found materials, we've got a heat press uh, emulsion print on the right, um, with stitching going back into it. Uh, we've got a wax cast in the bottom left corner, so we do casting workshops using uh, plaster, using wax. Um, it's something that's really, really exciting, particularly if you're into sculpture, uh, to be able to do. Uh, we've also had lots of students play with animation, uh, and then go on to do animation degrees, or combine it with the media to go on to do other creative media degrees. Um, so you can see examples of how that all fits together there with some graphics works that students made. So once again, hopefully you can see that there is not one particular style that we try to push. It is about you finding your own way. Um, the work happens in sketchbooks and outside of sketchbooks if you want to work larger for outcomes. Um, but a sketchbook is, just like GCSE, a really important place for you to show your thinking, to demonstrate your experimentation, to problem solve. Um, yeah, so very similar to GCSE, but obviously you'll be working at a faster pace. Uh, you'll have six hours lessons a week plus your time outside. Um, so I think that work will develop along alongside everything you're doing lessons really, really well. So the sketchbook, very, very important. We like you to explore different materials. We'll encourage you to try things out that might at first seem no, a bit strange to do, but you know, exploring the creative potential of ripping things, damaging things. Um, you know, really, really playing with what, what the properties and materials are um, can be a really nice way to discover things. Um, so we really encourage quite a playful approach as well. Um, do etching, printing, uh, lots of printmaking techniques at all actually on the course. Uh, you can see some embroidery here. We can see an example of life drawing on the right hand side. Um, that's something we encourage. We, we send our students to life drawing classes in year 13 for those that want to do it. Um, we also do lots of trips. Okay, so we'll come to some images of that shortly. 
Here's a drawing of me, if you don't know me. Uh, installation workshops, so we're very lucky to have the forests. Um, we try to use those when we can, uh, as much as we can. I think it's a really good place for work to exist. It's a good place to, to go and be creative and make work. Um, so where possible, I think that's a nice thing to go and do. Uh, we're always going to trips if they're relevant to our projects. So uh, you can see examples on here of the Royal Academy, Sarge Gallery. Uh, we've been to the British Museum. Uh, National Portrait Gallery. So, you know, we're really keen to get out and learn from brilliant, brilliant artists and try and take that back to our work. Um, okay, I'll talk a little bit about the structure of the course. So it's 60% coursework and 40% exam. Okay, um, the coursework runs all the way up till pretty much January, uh, end of January in year 13. Okay, so everything you do from the start of the course until then is building up your coursework score. It's known as the personal investigation, okay? So even though we start a project called Structures, that eventually finds its way into your own project. You choose what you want to, to explore and you become an expert in that area. Alongside that work, you're gonna write an essay. It's a one to 3,000 word essay, okay? Which sounds a lot, but it's um, not as much as it sounds, okay? We help you with that, we teach you how to write the essay, we teach you how to research, um, how to develop arguments. Um, and then you present that essay alongside your work. So that is a big written element um, of the course, uh, but we teach you how to do all of it and there is plenty of time to get better and better at that. Okay, so that will also form part of your lessons. Uh, but mostly the, the writing just happens uh, within your book. Okay, so other than that, that one essay, uh, there isn't a written exam um, and the writing will just be like at GCSE within your book, explaining your ideas, analyzing artists' work, showing your insights. Um, what equipment do you need? It's a good idea, just like at GCC, I imagine you've been told, um, to have your own set of pencils, uh, paints, brushes um, for at home. Okay, really, really good because it means you can carry on in your own time uh, when you get back home after school um, and make great work. Obviously, we provide you with whatever you need in school and that's absolutely fine, but it is a good idea if you can afford it to set yourself up with some good basic art material at home. So paints, good pencils. Um, we sell sketchbooks in school. Um, but yeah, that, the, the basics, uh, I think you probably know what you need for that. Um, but like I say, if that is going to be a trouble, we've got stuff in school you can use. Uh, can I make whatever I want? I've sort of explained that. So we start off on a project called Structures. Uh, eventually you'll get to choose your own projects and you'll run with that. Um, is there any recommended reading to get a head start? There is, excuse me, uh, recommended reading or watching. Uh, BBC iPlayer Civilizations is an excellent series looking at art through um, time across the world. Each episode's got a different presenter, a different focus, and they are the experts in their field. That really, really can't recommend this highly enough. It's, it's brilliant. Um, art of Germany is another good one. Uh, BBC Four documentaries, another set of excellent documentaries. Um, I think it's important to know about the history of art. Okay, and I think these these documentaries really give you a good grounding in that. I also think it's important to know like in The Shock of the New, the book you can see there, of all the changes that have happened, um, a big century of change um, that it discusses. Another thing you can do, get down to your local Waterstones, um, have a little browse, just find the artists that you're interested in. Uh, if you want to get a good book, uh, you, you'll find one there. They've got an excellent collection. So, um, yeah, hopefully that sets you up nicely, ready to start. If you've got any more questions, just send me an email. Um, and I'll do my best to respond to you as soon as I can. But I'm really excited about having you all in, um, ready to start new workshops, new lessons, seeing what you can do, seeing how much you're going to grow as an artist and as a person. Um, I think it's a really exciting time. So see you in September.